Hey, this is Anthony Ha with VentureBeat, and I'm here with uh, Ryan Spoon from Polaris Ventures. Um, Hello. And we are here at Dogpatch Labs in San Francisco. Um, Ryan, can you tell us a little bit about what Dogpatch is? Sure. Um, so Dogpatch is uh, a Polaris incubator of sorts. Uh, we have three locations. San Francisco, which uh, is home to 45 entrepreneurs, um, folks across all different spaces. Um, and uh, we have one in New York City, which has about 30 folks, and one in Cambridge, which has about 25. And it's a collection of really smart, diverse, uh, interesting folks working on a variety of different projects. Folks from cloud computing to Twitter with Mr. Tweet to collaborative work documents uh, with Etherpad, which is a graduate, uh, a variety of interesting folks in a really collaborative environment. And um, how, how do companies sort of get involved with, with Dogpatch? Um, so there's a couple ways. One is we have actual residents, people who make this their, their home base of sorts. Um, and uh, they can find out more about that at dogpatchlabs.com. Um, second, we put a lot of work into making sure that this is a community beyond just the people who are residents. And by that I mean we have ongoing weekly events um, that are typically themed of some degree. There's open houses, but there's also, last week we had a data event, we had a biotech event. This week there's a uh, hackers and founders event. Um, and the best way to find out about that is both on the site, but also on Facebook, facebook.com slash dogpatchlabs. Right. So, so, I mean, a lot of, some of the companies here, at least, you know, these aren't companies that, you know, Polaris itself is, is going to invest in. I mean, can you talk a little bit more about what you guys are, are why you guys are doing this and what you're getting out of it? Sure. Um, so we're doing it and getting out of it uh, hopefully the same, which is uh, getting to spend time with really excellent people uh, mm -hmm. who are experts in their field, who are interesting and, and forward thinking, uh, and who are a lot of fun to be around. Um, we have had examples of companies that uh, Polaris has funded out of Dogpatch. We've had examples of companies that have taken funding uh, from other firms or other angels. And we've had examples of uh, companies that have been acquired. Um, we are equally as excited about all of them, uh, and we hope that in all cases, uh, we continue to have great relationships. Awesome. And um, you have uh, an entrepreneur, a dog patch entrepreneur with you here. Can you uh, introduce him to us? I do. Uh, and I will. Uh, David Hegarty of Holler. H-O-L-L-R-R. -R. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's sweet. There it is, Holler. Okay, great. And he's been with us since, I want to say November 1 or October 1? Uh, November 1. And just really an excellent example of someone who um, spends a lot of time with other entrepreneurs, has launched his company while here, uh, seen a lot of growth, and uh, a better person to talk about this than me. <laughs> cool, David. Well, maybe we'll start by you. Just tell, tell us a little bit about what, what Holler is. Uh, sure. The best way to describe Holler is that it's uh, Foursquare for Product Discovery. So we, uh, we take that thing that everyone loves to do, uh, which is share discoveries or recommendations for great new products and uh, we turn it into a game, so it becomes really easy and fun to do. And uh, I guess the reason we built Holler is um, current review sites are boring, like <laughs> who, wants to, who cares if, if some washing machine is three stars and another one is four stars. Um, what we really want to hear about are our products so awesome that we have to run out and get them. And um, the, be the best way, I, I mean I still hear about those are from my friends. Um, I love to share those recommendations and people um, uh, I, you know, I, I like to hear it from people, and so we built Holler to make it as easy as possible and fun to do. Cool. And how did, how did you end up in Dogpatch Labs? Uh, so I got introduced to Ryan through a, a friend I used to work with at Microsoft. And so I came down here, and I loved the space, mm -hmm. and uh, so I moved in pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And so you, but you're, you're, it sounded like you're kind of a pretty virtual company or pretty geographically distributed. Right, so we have uh, engineers in Poland, uh, co-founder is based here in, in San Francisco, and then we also have our community manager in uh, New York. So, mm -hmm. so we're all over the place. Right, so there's just basically two of you who are here in, in the yeah. offices? Yeah. Uh -huh. And do you, do you make it in every day? I do actually. I. I can't work at home. I get <laughs> distracted. Yeah. So I'm in here literally days and weekends. Uh, yeah, days and weekends. So literally every day. Uh huh. And 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 you said you. I mean, you've talked to a lot of the other teams and and startups a lot too. Yeah. So I mean, my my background uh, prior to here is is Microsoft, which is mm -hmm. about as far from a startup as you can get. <laughs> 
Um, and so, yeah, so definitely I, I missed like a ton of, and also my background was not technical, I, I was the business side of Microsoft. So I definitely missed, um, I was missing a ton of things that made, uh, that make a successful startup. But I picked that up from the people here. So there's, uh, like there's some super, super smart, intelligent, um, just amazing people. And um, it's pretty collaborative, like people are willing to help each other out and go the extra mile to help each other out. And so that's been invaluable for for getting Holler started and getting it off the ground and making it successful. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time, David, and thanks, Ryan. Thanks for coming. And I'm going to give do a quick pan so people can actually see the office. Pretty cool, right?